Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter with the basic Sorgonomics for uh, today. I know we're kind of cutting things down a little bit. I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope we're having some better quality stuff coming out to you guys. And today I want to talk a little bit about um, user experience. You need to be concerned with that. If you're working in social media, if you're working on a website, whatever the case may be. Um, for me, I, I, I've actually been kind of diving into this and I'm getting some feedback um, and also not realizing how what kind of creative people we have on hand here. Uh, I, w- I don't want to say on staff because they're not all like paying staff members, but but we have a great collaborative thing going on with Sogatron Media, all the people around the podcast and everything, uh, people from different walks of life and different skill sets. And and it's been really great to get those people together and kind of uh, jam those things uh, um, you know, as we go here. And, and, and just like finding out people like, you know, our fan base that 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 have become part of the fold, I guess you could say, that that have all these talents. And, and one of those is in in design um, through a, a couple of guys like uh, Antonio Garza with the wrestling revolution dot com, uh, Alexander Cars with uh, um, 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 a power to the smarks. Um, and, uh, and, 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 you know, looking at that and even just kind of uh, looking at our community on Slack that we have uh, for Sorgatron Media and our, our entities. Um, so, so I, I, I'm looking at things and, and, and I don't want to, um, I've had this problem over the years where I'll just kind of execute something and not walk away, but that's it. That's, that was a project. That's it. Let's, let's, let's move on to the next thing. And often we, I need to remember that, uh, sometimes that's not the end of the, it's not the end of the day. It's not the end of the job. And we need to kind of go back and take a look. Um, I had been a part of uh, live streaming through our friends at work hard Pittsburgh, um, a uh, great uh, UX and user design and interface design event uh, over at Bakery Square at uh, UPMC Enterprise. And uh, it was, you know, again, I'm not terribly existing in that space. I don't consider myself um, a designer, a web designer, or anything like that. But if we're dealing with podcasts, if we're de- dealing with social media, if we're dealing with any kind of communication, and this is a visual communication or audio communication method a lot of times, right? There is a little bit of testing you should do. User experience. Feedback is the key. For instance, I've been battling with what needs to be done with uh, IndieWrestling.us. Um, it was put together. Uh, our good buddy, again, Alex Carzo, I want to give him all the props there for getting the site together for us. Uh, you know, getting the bits and pieces, getting what I had built over on SorgatronMedia.com uh, for the store over there and making it its own thing. And now I'm kind of taking another look at it and because I'm it's it's never finished, no matter what, no matter who works on it, no matter what the case may be, um, whatever our design is, um, I'm getting feedback from the people buying the digital downloads, looking into the, the numbers of how many people are buying digital downloads and DVDs from it. And I'm very concerned with, um, you know, what is that experience like for them? Uh, for a site like that, as I, as I was telling our friends, you know, I want to make sure it does look reliable. It does look like something you're going to spend your money and expect to get the thing you paid for, right? Um, I want it to be a very, uh, a very, very, you know, a very considerable resource for people to 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 do that and, and be part of the community and build up around that. And we got some uh, fun strategies around that that we've been working at with some pretty, uh, pretty good success. So, you know, having that ability to, uh, you know, put that out to my crew and say, Hey, you know, be a customer, go look for something, be a wrestling fan, be a whatever fan, navigate the site, see what you can, you know, see if you run into any problems. What, what is your, what what are the issues that you run into? Does the process make sense? Do the instructions that we give for getting your file make sense of exactly what's going to happen and what you're going to expect? And you just need that kind of outside perspective because you never know. You don't know what you don't know. And if you just say, hey, there was a design, there was a good design, I'm going to walk away from it, we're good to go. If you don't get that feedback, and you're not always going to be offered that feedback, especially if you're a large, a, a smaller entity or for a smaller upstart website, right? Your feedback is going to be that people don't come back, and you can't really gauge that, right? Or maybe you don't have enough of a, a base that you can just put out a survey and say, hey, what works and doesn't work? Because if you don't have enough of a fan base that cares to be there in the first place, you're not going to get the feedback. Uh, so it is nice to kind of have a circle to that you can build around and say, hey, guys, check this out. Or if you're a retail thing like we are, put out a code and say, and actually, we've done this a little bit, a little bit of stress testing. Um, I think when we launched the site, we actually did a 75% off code and say, hey, guys, go buy stuff. Um, let us, you know, you'll get a deep discount and 
and and help us see if there's any issues with this, right? And, and try to, and if there are any issues like that to come up, I try to be nice and, and, and kick a code, um, kick a little bit of discount. It's the least I can do in that case, especially when we're dealing with digital goods like this. Um, that does make it a tiny bit easier. Um, but even not just the websites, when I'm thinking about this concept, you know, you need to think about um, your your campaigns, your interactions, again, on social media. I don't know what I'm missing. You know, I, I, I have been actually fortunate. A couple of people have come to me and say they, they actually kind of like how I present, you know, X, X and Y on, on online, on Twitter, on Facebook, whatever the case may be. So it's nice to get that. But I don't get all the people that kind of, you know, shoved it off and 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 went past. Right. Um Sometimes I'm lucky enough. Sometimes I have to create graphics. I'm not terribly a, uh, a well-versed graphic designer, although I do have some, 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 some training as such. Um, so, like even today, I was I had to make a uh, graphic up for uh, an event that's going to be coming up from PodCamp Pittsburgh, just because I wanted to get it done and get it out there and get a nice save the date as we're trying to get our uh, our guest list kind of uh, put together. But I just wanted to make sure it was out there uh, to begin with. And and and. I'm very um, careful now to take a double and triple look at the information on there um, to see if, well, do I have all the information that I need? Is, is this everything that's important for this event, at least for the time being? Because um, even we had a contest sometime last year, and I remember I, I set up the graphic, I set up the campaign, and then uh, somebody who's very good in the in the in the uh, uh, in the graphic design department hits me up. And says, uh, yeah, um, I don't understand what we're supposed to do here. You know, is, is it is the is the instruction clear, right? And that was something that I I had I had missed because again, it's something I was trying to squeeze out. I think we were on a deadline or something, and it was kind of something just internal that we were trying to help out with, and uh, and 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 it was completely missed. And I had to go reset and re repost and 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 try to add a little bit to it to clarify. Um, Again, you know, uh, no matter how good you are, and especially a lot of people, if you're listening to this, you're probably somewhere in the uh, beginner to novice in social media, in, in, in media, in podcasting, whatever the case may be. You're not going to know everything right away. You know, there's still a lot of stuff I miss after all these years, even in stuff like podcasting. Um, that's why I, I go with open ears anytime there's anybody else, even people that have been podcasting for a year. Maybe they figure something out early on that I never did. I never thought of. Or they're doing their podcast in a whole different way. Same with the social media. Same with everything else. Um, I, I was actually talking about, um, there was this peer group that I was looking at, uh, the past couple of weeks and I, I checked it out and I was wondering about it and I, and I looked around and I says, I, we kind of already had this peer group, you know, um, having coffee with my friends and, and, and connecting with the, with the, with the groups that we have that are working in a lot of these different fields, um, that we do get to compare notes and say, Hey, is this working for you? Hey, have you tried this? Hey, what's going on here? Um, and having that happen or, Hey, can you look at this campaign? Does this seem to make sense to you? Is there anything that you'd be doing differently? And we get to connect on that and we get to push each other along in those, in those regards. And I'm hoping I help them out too, uh, to some effect as well. So, always, um, take a look back, you know, go, go back, go look through your Twitter feed of, of that, Whatever you're trying to get out there, whatever trying to push. Did you put a website together in Squarespace or WordPress? I, try to look at it from, from as a different user or get your friend to or get somebody that doesn't. Get your mom to, you know, somebody who definitely wouldn't have been at your site and say, hey, come to my site. Pretend you're somebody that likes pro wrestling. Pretend you're somebody that likes X. You know, does this make sense? Do you know how to subscribe to me on, on, on my podcast? Do you know how to follow this? Subscribe to it. Um, you know, does the call, you know, do, 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 do you know that I want you to do X, you know, whatever your call to action is uh, for that page? So just a few ideas there. Again, you know, kind of that user testing idea, the UX design or whatever you call um, that these days. Uh, let me know what you think. Is that something that you've had trouble with? Let me know. Sorgatron.com at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sign up for the newsletter. We got a lot of fun stuff going on there. I'm actually trying to line up some guest bloggers here coming up. So looking forward to that. Um, let me know what you guys think. Thanks a lot for listening. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatronmedia.com.